Hey ladies, I'm Courtney Labrie. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have luxury baby items that I have been loving in 2023. This list isn't in any particular order um, as far as price point and also like everything on my list is not super expensive. So even if some things are outside of your budget, still take a listen because there may be some things that I might include that may be within your price point. Also, I just wanna add, babies really don't need a lot. They just need some more place warm to lay their head lots of love full bellies and they're good to go so this is definitely not a necessity type of list um, definitely a splurge so without further ado let's get right into it the first on my list is the nested crib now the reason why I chose this crib right off the back was because it has three different sizes so the first size is a mini crib the second size is a full crib and the third size is a taller bed so I knew that if I got this crib, like he would be in it for a while. So that was one thing that really got me sold on it. I got it in the natural wood, which is really beautiful in um, the baby's room. It flows seamlessly. It did take a while for it to ship. I think I ordered this probably in 2022 around maybe like may or june and i didn't get it until like september right before he was born so it did take quite a while for it to ship out but it was worth it um we did upgrade our mattress to the more like breathe safe breathe easier crib we also grabbed some sheets from nestic and we grabbed the starlight mobile to hang on top of his crib it goes like perfect with the theme of his room another additional feature is that this crib has wheels so whenever we feel like bringing the baby into our room or if we want him to sleep in his room it's really easy to move the crib back and forth so that is another thing that I love about this crib next I have on my list the Burberry diaper bag now I did a review on this diaper bag um, really doing an unboxing but since I've been able to get it out wear it take it on a few doctor's appointments with us um, I actually do really like it. The only thing I don't like about the diaper bag is the changing pad. I actually pulled the Burberry changing pad out and I put in my own generic changing pads just because it was taking up a lot of space. It's kind of like plush and fluffy um, and the diaper bag is really not that big. So I did pull that out. So that's really the only con about that diaper bag. But if you're interested in the unboxing, I will leave it linked in the video above. One feature of the diaper bag that I use quite a bit are the side pockets. Pockets. they're huge I can literally fit two bottles on each side which makes it very very handy um, to just kind of grab things and go so that is one feature that I do love about the diaper bag but I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video just highlighting that diaper bag because it deserves a highlight moving on to my next item this okay if I did list the items in order from my most favorite this probably would have been first on my list it is the Nuna stroller I love this stroller like there should be no reason why I love this stroller so much I grabbed this stroller in hazelwood it's a beautiful like tan beige kind of color it has a full cover so that is one thing that I absolutely do love especially when my baby was first born you don't want the sun in his face so it has the shade and then you can actually like pull down the sides and have them fully covered. So that is one thing I absolutely love about the stroller. It has a basket at the bottom. So sometimes I put my purse down there or if I just wanna throw a few things at the bottom of the stroller, that's available for me. Um, you can also add a cup holder. It's just a really beautiful, well-made stroller. Very easy to push, very easy to get around like tight corners. I can push the stroller with just one hand. Absolutely fine, no issues at all. So it is a very easy stroller to to maneuver now the stroller is heavier than my next item that i'm gonna mention that's probably the only con about the stroller it's a, a little bit on the heavier side but other than that i love the stroller like it's hands down one of my favorite baby items next on my list is the duna stroller now this stroller i love it I don't love it as much as the Nuna, but I do love it. This stroller is lightweight, very easy to, again, get around, push. 
it does sit pretty low so for me that's not an issue but if you are on the taller side then that may be something to consider i believe they have like extended um like candles it doesn't have a basket but that's okay because you know with both of his diaper bags i can either wear them as a backpack or i can wear my Burberry diaper bag as a crossbody so that doesn't bother me too too much we did get this stroller for travel so i do plan on taking it on a few trips and seeing how it works out for us so one thing that really pushed me to get this stroller is that you don't need the base for car rides so that is why I grabbed it for travel I would hate to have to like lug around the base car seat stroller like that's just a lot when it comes to travel so I just need a one and done type of deal and the Duna definitely does it for me so I plan on giving her a spin when we have more trips to really see how much I absolutely love it so kind of switching gears a little bit, next on my list is the brand called Silky Tots. Silky Tots is a brand that produces 100% mulberry silk items. So I, what I grabbed from Silky Tots is the head covers and then also the bassinet covers. And this helps reduce the frizziness and friction in your baby's hair and skin. Um, so the reason why I got it is because like babies are notorious, they, they're back sleepers, right? So they're notorious for having that little missing patch of hair in the back. So I tried to avoid that by covering and lining like all of his products that I had to lay him on his back um, with Silky Tots. So the head covers, I got them in two different sizes and he's been in the Silky Tot head covers in his car seat since he was first born. And then I also had his bassinet line the whole time he was in his bassinet um, with Silky Tots. I felt like when he was a little bit younger, I was on top of it a little bit more and it was a lot easier too. He moves a lot now, so a little harder to keep him on the silk. but. Um, um, when he was younger he definitely had um, he has fine hair but it was all there so I could definitely tell the difference um, now that I'm not on top of it as much I can totally see the difference um, so I do plan on getting him the silky tots uh, silk sheets um, to go along with our little collection that we started but I absolutely love Silky Tots this is not sponsored by any means um, if you do have the opportunity to check them out I would highly recommend them next on my list is the hatch now this is a sound machine and I love the fact that you can control the sound machine with your phone so there are times when I just you know laid him down I'm trying to sneak out I can change the color on my phone I can change the sound I can turn it up I can turn it down um, when he was well he still sleeps in our room but when he was sleeping in our room majority of the time um, I love the fact that I could like control it from my phone I did use it as like a nightlight I just cut it on and it lights up it's not too bright and if it is too bright you can turn it down so the noises the noises it does have a wide range of sounds that it can make it can do lullabies it can do rain wind um, so my baby like really loves it and typically we have to have the sound machine on for him to go to sleep hands down would recommend a hatch so the last item on my list is the baby Bajorn mini carrier now now, I have a little guy. He's been in this thing since he was first born. I think you can start putting your baby in a carrier, in this particular carrier, at seven pounds. So he's been in this since he was really small, but he's still small, so he can still fit in the mini carrier. They do have three different um, ways that you can wear it. So I prefer to have them forward facing. I love it because this is how I get most of my stuff done. If he's being a little bit fussy and he's needing some, you know, a little bit extra attention and picking up, then I usually will put him in the carrier so I can be hands free. I also have my Sedona vlog where um, I had him in the carrier as well. So he's always comfy cozy in his carrier. Um, and it's again, one of my go-tos for me to be hands free. It does come in a few different colors and Baby Bajoran also has a few different ranges of carriers. So if you have and check them out I would say give their website a spin and if you're looking to be hands-free or if you're a mommy on the go and you like to have your baby um, strapped to you then definitely check out baby Bajorn so that is it for my list I think I listed about seven products like I mentioned earlier in my video your babies really don't need a lot all they need is love full bellies and a nice warm place to lay their heads if you do have any of these let me know down in the comments how you like it how it going for you thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye